Kabalikat ko sa serbisyo, Dar Secretary Attorney John Castriciones, Under Secretary Attorney Emily Padilla, Under Secretary Virginia Orogo, Regional Director Maria Celestina M. Tam, Parpo Romeo Cordero, Parpo Jocelyn Ramones, Department of Agriculture, Philippine Carabao Center, Executive Director Arnel Del Barrio, Governor Oyi Umali of Nueva Ecija, Congresswoman Micaela Miki Violago, Science City of Munoz, Mayor Nestor Alvarez, Municipality of Gimba, Mayor Jose Dizon, Municipality of General Natividad, Mayor Anita Arosena, Municipality of Talavera, Mayor Nerevi Santos Martinez, Catalanacan Multipurpose Cooperative Chairman Ferdinand Cueva, our colleagues from the Department of Agrarian Reform, Department of Agriculture, Philippine Carabao Center, Parpos, Carpos, other partner agencies, at higit sa lahat, ang ating mga agrarian reform beneficiaries, organizations, magadang hapon po sa ating lahat. Our activity today is the first for the Philippine Carabao Center and the ninth virtual MOU and marketing agreement signing with our partners with the Department of Agrarian Reform. Ako ay masayang masaya na muling nadagdagan ang mga EPAP partners na nagkakaroon ng MOU at marketing agreement signing para matulungan ang ating mga magsasaka. Congratulations to the PCC for the inauguration of your Milky Bun Production Center. Talagang hindi nagpapatinag ang ating mga kasamahan sa Department of Agrarian Reform na sa gitna ng pandemya sinisiguradong tuloy na tuloy ang pagseserbisyo. Just last September 4, nagkaroon tayo ng MOU at MA signing sa Region 7 and 12. I was also informed that the DAR has scheduled two upcoming EPAP program events in the coming weeks to cover Regions 2 and 6. Pagkatapos natin dyan, NCR na lang po at matatapos na natin ang lahat ng region ng buong Pilipinas. For the sake of our new partners, particularly our PCC colleagues and beneficiaries, allow me to give a gist on how this EPAP program started. This partnership actually builds on the success of the Brazilian government in providing agricultural extension services linked to the nutritional needs of its national feeding program. This was first adopted by DAR, DSWD, and the Department of Agriculture. It aimed to mobilize farmers in different communities to produce goods and other food staples necessary for their supplemental feeding program and the feeding program for residential care facilities. Dahil naging matagumpay ang PAHP, minabuti po namin na palawakin pa ito uh, sa pamamagitan ng Enhanced PAHP or EPAP. Upang sa ganon, mas maraming mga grupo na magsasaka ang magiging beneficiaryo. Kaya mula sa tatlong ahensya, we expanded it to include 11 more agencies and partner institutions. The additional agencies include my office, the Office of the Cabinet Secretary, together with DILG, BJMP, DepEd, DOH, National Nutrition Council, DOST, DTI, NAPSI, NIA, TESDA, PAPCOM, and Land Bank. Mula naman doon, we approved additional expansion by the inclusion of the Philippine Coconut Authority the National Dairy Authority, the Philippine Carabao Center, Development Bank of the Philippines, and the Department of Information and Communications Technology. The Philippine Carabao Center's inclusion in the EPAP program and other attached agencies of the Department of Agriculture were highlighted during our successive meetings as we intend to engage all kinds of farmers to benefit from this program. This is why I am very, very happy that PCC is able to enter into this partnership on the ground 
within practically two months. EPAP, of course, is anchored on our commitments to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, particularly goal number two on zero hunger, the Philippine Development Plan 2017 to 2022, and the directive of President Duterte to reduce poverty incidence to 14%. I would also like to share with you that EPAP program is among the banner programs of the Interagency Task Force on Zero Hunger established by virtue of Executive Order Number no. 101 to eradicate hunger by 2030. Layunin po natin dito sa EPAP, wakasan ang kagutuman, achieve food security, improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture by linking farmers' organizations sa mga government feeding programs natin. Ibig po sabihin nito, gobyerno na po ang magiging kliyente ng ating mga magsasaka. Direktang bibili na po ang gobyerno mula sa ani mismo ng ating mga farmers' organizations. Para sa ganon, wala ng middleman at tutulong direkta ang ating gobyerno sa ating mga maliliit na magsasaka. We also intend to expand more opportunities and collaborations for all the beneficiaries of our community-based farmers' organizations. Isang halimbawa na doon ay linking our farmers' organizations sa technology adapters ng DOST Food and Nutrition Research Institute na gumagawa ng mga nutritional, nutritious food products at gusto po natin i-link up sa pamamagitan ng IPAP ang ating mga maliliit na magsasaka doon sa mga food adapters ng FNRI. To put this into action, we are currently conducting our first Kumain webinar series kung saan iniingganyo natin ang ating mga mall, micro, small, and medium enterprises or MSMEs ng Department of Trade and Industry at ang Scaling Up Nutrition Business Network ng National Nutrition Council na maging bahagi ng Zero Hunger Initiatives natin at EPAP program. Ibig po sabihin ito, maaari na rin po nating malink up ang ating mga farmers organizations sa mga micro, small, and medium enterprises ng DTI at ang Sun Business Network ng National Nutrition Council. This MOU and Marketing Agreement signing between DAR, PCC, at ang Katalanakan Multipurpose Cooperative is another testament that EPAP works. In fact, this is the third MOU and Marketing Agreement signing that I have witnessed in this region alone. Last August 2019, nagkaroon ng signing between DAR, DOH, at ang Jose B. Lingad Memorial Regional Hospital at ang Crucial Multipurpose Cooperative. Nung nakaraang June 2020, nagkapirmahan na rin po ang DAR, BJMP, at ang apat na Arbos, Santo Tomas San Luis Farmers Association from Pampanga, nagkakaisang magsasaka Agricultural Primary Multipurpose Cooperative from Nueva Ecija, kabalikat sa Gulayan at Sakahan sa Bayan ng Likab, Nueva Ecija, at ang Dalig Hobol Irrigators Association mula sa Zambales. So I strongly encourage all our EPAP agencies to continue the intensified support to our farmers and arbos. I hope that aside from linking them, with the demand side, we can also link them with our support services and assistance and credit facilities so that we can increase their productivity and their capacities. I would also like to encourage our Katalanakan Multipurpose Cooperative at ang lahat ng mga Arbos at sa lahat ng mga local farmers organizations to proactively and continuously participate in this EPAP program. Hindi po kayo magsisisi dito. And I hope that in the next round of MOU signings, we can encourage our local government units who are listening now and watching this video. Sana po, sa pamamagitan ng EPAP, pwede rin po nating gamitin ito para makalink up sa ating mga farmers organizations para suportahan po ang inyong mga local feeding programs and initiatives. Muli, maraming maraming salamat po 
Congratulations po sa ating lahat at mabuhay po. Magandang hapon po muli.